over them real quick and then after that you you would just be able to ask me a couple questions and then we'll see where it goes right yep all right amazing so the first thing i actually learned is and this is this is something i really wanted to tell you because a school community is actually the opportunity to build like an actual community and the like if you have a strong community you have more engaged people but i've also like they also spread your message more right this is very important they they literally spread their message for themselves if that for you if that makes sense like they spread it amongst themselves for you if that makes sense let's add isaac as well yo isaac how are you doing and he left oh (laughs) oh shit all right anyways well yeah man to me it, it feels very fulfilling as well to build your own community oh yo isaac good to see you again bro <laughs> all comes. right so the first oh sorry what did what did she nothing okay all right all right yeah man so the first thing that i actually learned so i was you probably you guys know leon peshov right nope okay all right so it's the is the purpose coach in a Donna school actually mm-hmm. you you know Donna school right yep yeah, yeah all right amazing yeah man so it's the purpose coach in a Donna school and he actually made his own product as well oh let me see yo Rafa how are you doing bro hey how you doing all right I'm doing amazing bro thank you thank you hey hey all right, yeah, man. So, but anyways, what I what I wanted to say is I was talking to Leon Peshov about this because he had a very active community, right? Um, my community wasn't very active and things like that. Of course, it, it was pretty decent, but it wasn't that active, right? Yo, Zach, how, how are you doing, bro? Welcome to the call. Hey, bro. But, how are you? I'm doing amazing, bro. Thank you, thank you. All right, but yeah, man, what a, like he had a very active community, and I asked him, why do you think your community is so active? And what he told me is, it's just because of YouTube, because most of his leads came from YouTube, right? And I saw this myself as well. Like the most of the time when I was into school communities that are very active, because you want an active community, right? And the most active communities are almost always youtube leads so i've i've seen a couple of people in like not direct competitors of mine but a little bit like they they've got like 500 members but my community is more active like the the the, you can see that on a leaderboard right like i'm i'm like way above him on the leaderboard because he doesn't have a youtube channel and things like that so my community is more active if that makes sense do you have any any questions regarding this boys sorry what what did she there you it's clear i said it's clear all right amazing yeah man so the the second thing i actually learned and this is this is actually sick i only learned this like i think two weeks ago there's this guy called Alessandro, and I talk to him a little bit sometimes. Um, he has a friend that told him he he did like he has a friend that did like some split test on school or something like that, and his friend told him that the people would do more like group coaching calls and things like that, like we're doing right now, as have like more engage engagement in the communities actually. It's it's very fucking sick, and then I tried this as well, and it for some reason like the engagement just it's like way more, and that that's what you want in your community, right? So boys, let me let me ask you actually ask you a question first. Like, what is your main goal with the community? <clears throat> well, when joining school and looking for school communities, my first thing is that. I mean, nothing really can beat a dining school by engagement, like 40k people. I don't think you can beat that soon. 
But the second thing that is really important to me besides community is if they have uh, courses. If they have courses, they are first more valid. They have more authority in my eyes. And two, mm -hmm. it just shows that the, the guy who started the community cares about his community and wants to give some value to them. 100% bro, I, I totally agree with, with you here actually, like how I personally see it, and this is what Russell Bronson said as well, is that people join your community because of the group lectures you give and the courses and like all the fancy things you give them, right? That, yep. I don't know about the other guys, but for me that's the reason I joined the Donald School and then the reason I stayed is because of the community. So Expert Secrets, it's a, it's a book from a multi-millionaire Russell Brunson. Expert Secret says that people join because of the expert, but they stay, they actually stay because of the community. Mm. That's good advice, man. Um, I'm going to do like group coaching calls every Monday. And then I'm working That's on course content right now as well. That's fucking amazing, bro. You're doing like biohacking, right? Um, mindset, but... I suppose it's not just mindset because I'm also interested in a lot of different things, but definitely going to start with just like basics, like mindset. All right. Nice, man. I like that. I like that. I think I've got like 18 or 19 members right now. Uh, I started like two days ago, so I'm happy about that. That's fucking sick, bro. Actually, like I've, a lot of people actually started their, their school community is a couple of days ago. I think it's because the, of the school, school games, isn't it? Yeah, I got referred, yeah. Yeah, man. It's it's fucking sick, man. It's insane. All right, yeah, man. So the I think the third thing that I actually figured this out myself. So I think it was I think my school community exists for like two and a half months or like two months right now. And the first I I think like three weeks I didn't have an about page, right? I I only got like a quick message explaining what we do and maybe I had like one one random video or something like that um, not a lot of people actually joined right so I got like four or five four memberships requests or five membership requests a day and you could say like that's pretty okay it wasn't really like something I, I'm, I'm proud about it wasn't like very special or something like that but then I started to add testimonials to my to my about page so to the about page of my community um the yeah, next day i woke up the, the first five members sorry i missed that part yeah bro so i i didn't have an about page in the in the first like three weeks or something and did and then i got like five requests a day or something like that right um the day it's like the, one day i just decided like all right let's just add some random testimonials to the community uh and i actually woke up the next day and i got 11 member request requests and normally when i woke up it was like three so it was like <laughs> yeah bro <laughs> thank you thank you bro thank you yeah man but it was it was fucking sick man like so if you've got a free school community or something like that i would i would still really encourage you to add testimonials to that because so many more people will actually join your community bro like i tried it myself and it worked like crazy man so please do this all right do we have any questions regarding this boys i need to get some testimonials yeah man that's I would just say like coach a couple of, uh, of people for free in your in your free school community have you thought about that yeah that's a good idea i think when i get to like maybe like 20 members i'll i'll put a, a post in there yeah man like this this will also like increase your coaching skill and your maybe you want to do group coaching maybe you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching i would recommend you do both to be honest i i figured that when i coach people one-on-one -on -one before most of the time they're way more active in the community as well so that's something i wanted to to give to you as well quick bonus 
Hey, so I got a quick question. Um, do you guys have a list like of these these things? Because I'm trying to write them all down. Everything that you guys are saying, because I'm I'm real new to it. So as far as uh, starting a community, so I was just trying to see. Do you guys like have a list of the things that you're saying? So that way I can <clears throat> I can you know look at it and implement these steps that you guys are, are doing. Yeah, bro, I can uh, share the document, the, the Google Docs document of what I'm saying right now, if you want. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. I'm still going to take notes, but I definitely, I can't write as fast as you guys are talking, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. let me, let me grab the link, bro. I think it's, I think it's really good that you're, you're taking notes as well, actually. I think they did a study and they, and they showed that if you write things down, you will remember, like, things two or three times more like like crazy let me see bro i think you i think i sent you the link right now okay i see it or maybe this one works i i don't know i think it's the same link but yeah man all right so the next thing is yeah so this is this is like a lesson i learned from from my mentor charlie morgan actually and he just gave a quick he just said like you you need to behave how you want other people in your community to behave as well right um at first i didn't really understand this i was like what is he talking about and things like that but then i i just i just realized this and i saw people who were like role models for me and i i naturally started just to behave like them as well right so i think this this is like this is a lesson that's really important as well. Because if you behave in a certain way, then people will naturally start to take notice of you and copy your behaviors. Because you need to be the leader, right? If if you behave like wrongfully or something like that, people will do the same as well. What do we think about this, boys? Uh, yeah, I think it speaks for itself. I mean, it's that's um, a big leadership quality, you know. Um, how you if you if you're leading a community of people and you you want them to benefit from the things that you want them that you're kind of you know projecting, then you going the way that you act is what they're gonna do because they're following the leader, you know. And so it's just one of those things where you know. Hey, so so goes the what they used to say. So goes the king. So goes the people. You know. So. Yeah, man, that's definitely true, bro. So I've, yeah, man, I think it's very important for for everybody here to just behave in the way they want their community to behave, right? My fa my father actually had this saying. He, I don't know what it, how you say this in English, but he, it's kind it kind of went like, if you don't want. Wait, you you need to treat people how you want to be treated but then he said it in like a very special way in dutch Let, let's put it that way it rhyming and shit let me actually put my light on bro all right this is way better yeah man the next lesson i i learned is reward activity so you've you've recently seen me give give like best post awards um make people moderators and things like that and i i think this rewards activity right because a behavior needs to be encouraged in order to keep like in order to how do you say it <laughs> how do you say this bro your your behavior just needs to be encouraged if they if you want them to keep doing the behavior right that doesn't make sense yep most definitely most definitely we kind of do this in our um and um and in our groups that we have um and so when we see somebody kind of doing well you know we would we'll you know of course call a name out and things of that nature but then we'll also like really highlight them and big them up so that way what it does now you know it causes competition it does but in a good way you know it causes competition in a good way because you know people are going to see okay if this guy's being rewarded for doing good. Why don't I just do good as well? And, you know, and do the same thing, you know? So it definitely does encourage an atmosphere of, um, 
you know, assertiveness, one, and then, you know, of course, just, you know, doing what it is that needs to be done, you know, so, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, bro, 100%, 100%, I agree with you, because... I used to actually do have this in a Donner school as well. Like there was this best post award and things like that. And it, it's just the nature of the game, right? The more, even with, with YouTube and things like that, like if I get more views and all those kinds of things, then I hate to admit it, but I'm more motivated to actually post my more videos and things like that because it's going well. I'm thinking like, oh, I'm getting so many views and yeah, man, I, I wish I could I could sit there and say, like, oh, that's not true. But then my ego would, would step in the way, right? I got to be honest to you guys. <laughs> the next thing I actually learned, and uh, this is a big one for me. This has, I think this will help me back for, like, at least a month. And it's, it's a very big lesson that I learned. And it's start comparing your, stop comparing yourself to other people in like your niche or even just people around you just start stop comparing yourself bro because i've adopted this mindset where i just think like okay if he can do it i can do it right i i don't give a fuck if he's like a multi-millionaire i don't give a fuck who he is i don't care if he can do it i can do it right the only reason he he has been able to do this is because he's probably longer in the game than I am. He, or he has just were dealt with a little bit of different cards, right? But in the long term, I can do exactly what they can do as well. But when I started competing with people, in my mind, like it, it was all getting fucked up and shit. And I saw other people going, like I started just observing a couple of other people. So for example, I used to do this with YouTube and things like that. And I saw them and I was like, oh, he's, he's posting now. I need to post and things like that. And, and I, I can't even explain to you how much this fucked with my mindset. Like all my brain points were just going towards competing with other people instead of just trying to become the best version of myself and trying to become, trying to actually give what I meant to give, if that makes sense. And I know this, it sounds a little bit wishy-washy and things like that, but I, but I really want you to take notice of this because this caused me actually to take a lot of short-term decisions as well. Because I, I was like, I saw a lot of people doing just as good as I was or just a little bit above what I was doing. And I was like, oh, I need to catch up. I need to catch up. And I wanted to do everything in order to catch up, right? But what I didn't realize is this was costing me the long-term game. So, for example, I, I don't know, I was just selling out very quickly and those kinds of things. And maybe I should have waited just a little bit longer, just built a little bit more goodwill so I could sell more later, right? Th this is just a random example that was in my mind. But it's, I've done a lot of these, like, short-term thinking. And most of the time, to be honest, bro, the long-term thinking is even the best as well for the short term. So that's just a quick message I want to give you. And this is really fucking important, man. Don't compete with other people. Because, to be honest, it's, it's just your, your ego. It was personally my ego that made me make so many short-term decisions. And I see a lot of people who start their own new community and they tell me like, Oh, bro, Luca, I'm going to... I'm going to compete with you and I'm going to get 500 members and things like that and oh this and this and this but here's the thing they post one post in like 10 different school communities right and sure it gets a lot of traffic and things like that but all your good was going down bro I can tell you that right now all your good was going down as we spoke about before the people uh, if you like try to funnel people from other school communities, they are less engaged leads. It's just a game that you don't want to be playing, right? It's <laughs> I can't stress this enough, bro. Stop stop comparing your own school community to other school communities and things like that because people always also track the wrong wrong things, right? They say like, oh, I want 500 members, but here's the thing: I don't give a fuck about how many members I have. 
because I've seen people with 500 members who are way below the engagement of my community. They are like level, I, I don't know, like you, you have this statistic in, in school, right? I don't even know where, I, where I'm at, to be honest, but I think I'm like 330 or something like that. Um, they are like 500, but they still have like the double amount of... of members in the community and of course it it's if you funnel other members from other school you get less engagement yeah bro no le like here's the thing your your leads are less engaging right so as i as i said before like uh, let me see which thing it was yeah so as a I talked to Leon Peshev about this, right? And he had like a very engaging community with only like 50 members or something like that. It, it was very beginning, right? He only had 50 members or something like that. And he had a very engaging community. And I asked him like, why, how do you think your community is so active? And what he told me is all my leads are from YouTube or most of my leads are from YouTube. I don't post in a Donna school or Donna's gang or things like that. Most of my leads are from YouTube and that's why the people start to engage with me so much. It's just because they don't have other school communities to, to post in, right? If you funnel people from other school communities, it's just... How do I say... They, they have, like, different school communities that they're all trying to be active in, right? So if you, if you have got a lead that's active in like five other different school communities he's way less active in your school community actually that, i hope that that makes sense bro like furian does that make sense to you oh shit you didn't have a mic type it in the chat like type one in the chat if it makes sense to you and type two in the chat if it doesn't make sense to you all right yeah man and then can, like, can i uh can I say something oh. to that? Yeah, bro, one hundred percent. Yeah, I think um definitely it it because that's honestly what I have been dealing with. So you really speaking to me right now? To be honest with you, um as far as um the I would say the portion where you talk about comparing, um because I'm in the health and wellness field, so. <laughs> You know, it's so many people, you know, now these days talking about health, wellness, things of that nature. And so I had my, so Rafa, my name is Don Ayel, um, but my business is Rafa Roots. So this is just my business. Um, yeah, it's my business. But the thing is, I will follow other, uh, you know, influencers that talk about health and wellness and things of that nature. And because I probably didn't post or I haven't posted anything, honestly, I was, you know, I would look to get inspired, but I would be like, man, I can't do that. Or man, I'm not going to do that. Or man, I'm not going to get to that level and things of that nature. And so it was really making me stagnant in my growth and in my, my forward progression. You know, it would make me like slow down, you know, because I would be looking at everybody else, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, man, um, I talked to uh, one of my mentors and he told me, he said, you got to quit looking at people. You got to quit looking at everybody. Even they'll tell you, you should keep an eye on, in business, you should keep an eye on your competitors. But at some point, like when you follow certain or when you even get on social media and you see certain um, um, influencers or certain uh, business accounts, they don't follow anybody. So they don't get influenced by anybody. They don't they just do what they do. They only tunnel vision. Nothing else matters. Nobody else matters. Just what you're doing. And that that's kind of how I've been. That's how I've been gaining certain traction, just being that way, because every and then even when you said something about the um the um getting other followers from other groups and things of that night or other members from other groups that's not organic so that's that's why they don't engage in it because it's just mm -hmm. you're not picking up organic people to you know to join your membership and things of that nature so like i said i'm new to all of this i'm just soaking it all up man it's real good i'm glad i hopped on you know glad I thank you on. so much man. 
I appreciate you for for saying that, bro. Yeah, man. As you said, like if you, for example, if you are good leads from other school communities, they don't really fuck with you, right? You're not really seen as the the expert. They just think like, oh, just another random school community. It looked fancy, and they don't pay attention. So 100%, bro. And the thing with the competitor mindset and things like that as well, I really like the the point you made there actually, because. By the way, bro, can you hear the the sound in the background or? A little bit. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck, man. Wait, maybe I can I can try to slow it down a little bit. Let me let me actually see. Maybe it's a little bit less right now, but I'm not sure. But yeah, man, like the point you 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 are making with like trying to see like oh he is doing this and he is doing this and he is doing this. Here's the thing, it kills your out, out, authenticity. I think it, authenticity is, the, yeah, yeah. It kills your authenticity, it kills your uniqueness, it kills, like, it slows down everything, right? You would just copy and paste from this guy, copy and paste from this guy, and you would just become a big copycat. Um, instead of bringing your own spin to things. I think Sam often said something like this as well. Every day you need to wake up and think and think to yourself, like, how am I different from other people? What what are things that I think are different than everybody else is thinking, right? All right, but yeah, I mean, I, I think we went over all the, all the things that I wanted to talk about. The only thing is just, if you make a course for level two, you will get more engagement. Point, I'm not, <laughs> not going to say anything about this anymore. Let's just jump straight into the Q&A calls. Uh, like to the to the questions and things like that. Do do you have any questions, by the way, boys? Because otherwise it will be a very short Q and A call. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Can can you hear me? Yo, bro. Yeah, man. I can hear you. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. I don't have the best headphones on, so I will just. Uh, it sounds weird uh, when I talk with this one, so I will just. Uh, it was weird. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I, I, I jumped in for a couple of minutes ago. Uh, was it there from the start? So, was, but uh, my question is about how to get then paying members into your school. Like, uh, if it's free from the beginning, and then you increase your price, or if it's uh, have a price fr uh, from the start, you could also have two two different schools: one free and one one with a price. Do you have any experience or ideas about that? Yeah, man. So your question is, how do I get people from my free community to my paid community, right? Yeah. Um, if I have seen at least at least three ways to do it, uh, I, I, my question is about what what is a good strategy if you can compare them uh like is it difficult if you have a free to begin with and then you increase the price or make it make price uh or, or if you have two communities one free and one with with like an inner circle with the price the different ways to do it so but just generally also but do you have any thoughts about how to get paying pay the how you get people to pay for your schools that could also be just a general question. Yeah, man, that's a very good question, actually. Uh, to be honest, I've only got two people in my paid community right now, right? So I only made seven hundred dollars with by using this tactic. So I I want you to take notice that this might not be the best way to go about it, but I still think it's it's very good for the for the long term game, and and this is like what the big people on score are using right now as well so basically what i did is i made a free school community um in this free school community i give a lot of value and i give step number one for free right so my my thing is like a like i don't know five step program um like when you give a step one for free this is what i learned from alex ramoji when you give step one for free they naturally want step four, five, and six as well, right? So that's that's how I'm doing it right now. That's how I'm going about it right now. Um, 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, so you said, what, what step is for free and what, what does it mean? Yeah, good question. So it's it's like my, my I call it the basic course, right? So I just give away like how to do niche research, offer creation, those kinds of things. I give that away for free. Um, then at the end of the course, I tell them like, oh, I've got a paid product and you can get it here and here. Click on this link right now and then it will get them to my paid community, right? Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You you give. Uh, some people have more. Some people have really a lot of things in the free, free, free version, and, we, and then you can also unlock. But then they also have a paid version, they, like a paid school also. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bro. Yeah, you just need to have some stuff to put in there. Yeah, bro. So, like I, otherwise it, it looks a little bit. I don't know. Like it, it just looks a little bit empty as well, right? If you just make a free a, a school community and you only have like, you you don't really have anything in the classroom section. It just looks a little bit empty. Do you know what I mean? Right. Right. So do you are you able to um like when you have the classroom section and you put like little modules and courses and stuff in there? Are you able, because you, you said something about unlocking, do any people charge with that? Like, do people, some people charge, like, to unlock certain levels in the classroom and things of that nature? Or... No, nah, bro, I've never heard that before, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just asking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even know if that's that's possible, to be to be honest. Like, maybe it, it could be a good feature to ask right. some offers about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I man, as far as I'm concerned right now, that's not an option. But maybe in the future, I think it, it people would actually do this. I have I've seen like headquarters meetings and, and things like that at level seven or level eight or something like that. So maybe people would naturally want to pay for that as well. But I'm not sure if that's a, a good way to to go about it, man. Right, 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 right. A note, another note I want to take on this is, I just want to say, I recommend you give a lot of free value to people. This is very, this is like, you know Hermosi, right? You, you've seen the stuff Hermosi talks about. It's so fucking valuable for building goodwill. But I think, I've, I don't, I'm not sure about this. So this is why I didn't tell you about this in the... Uh, in the beginning but i think this also causes like referrals and things like that as well if you give a lot of free value to people all right so Firian had a yeah bro exactly over the liver so he had a question let me see mm, i don't really wait i don't fully really believe that you actually get less engagement they join your school through youtube because they like your content and the value you have to offer right but your school guy guides can do the same. Yeah, bro, one hundred percent. Like definitely. However, I've I've observed observed. So I'm sorry, observed a lot of different school communities, and I've even seen people give like multiple group coaching calls a week, with as I said, like five hundred my five hundred four hundred members, giving two to three group coaching calls a week every single week for a couple of months and they still don't have the engagement what? that i personally have on on my school community and i don't want to like be be the, the flexing guy like oh i have so much so much engagement that's not true right i just want to tell you what i'm i'm learning right now and this is what i learned because members are not members if that makes sense subscribers are not subscribers i mean they free calls Sorry, what did you say, bro? Isaac, can you repeat it again, please? Uh, I'm not sure. All right, 
But yeah, man, like you could still try to make them engage leads, but here's the thing: every other school community is trying to do this, right? Every community is trying to get his attention and his attention and his attention. And people, most of the time, try to stick to their roots, right? They try to stick to the community there. That like. For example, if Hamza brought you into school and all those kinds of things, you will naturally start to post more in the Donald's gang than you will start to post in, I don't know, some random school community, 10K club or something like that. You, I don't know, you, boys, have you seen the engagement in the Donald's gang? It's fucking sick. It is, it is not normal, bro. I can tell you this right now. It's not fucking normal. Um, Hamza doesn't have any courses in there. He doesn't... I don't think he does anything in there, right? Maybe there's like a group a group call. Not not even with Hamza, but just a group call. Um, the engagement there is so fucking sick. And then you have other people who have like courses and, and like a lot of different things and this and that, but they can match his engagement. This is also because Hamza, of course, has like way more members than the average school community. But still, I've seen a lot of school communities with like 30K members as well. And they, they literally, they can't match what he's doing. That's a game, bro. Like, I, I hope I, I really, I, I really hope I convinced you to get your leads from other platforms than school bro because it's like you can still get them from school and they can still like engage a lot in the community don't get me wrong but i think your youtube engagement leads they naturally they're way more they just really want to talk to you this is something i found out as well like the the people from my youtube they automatically see me as an authority figure right because i've spoken to them a lot they've seen i've got a couple of views a couple of subs on youtube they've seen I've, I've done this and i've done this and the people on school don't really know some not not all but most don't really know my story right they don't know what i'm i'm doing mo what i'm spending most of my time with they don't know what i'm experimenting with they don't know my trials and tribulations and things like that if that makes sense Frian, does that make sense to you like just type it in the comments or put your thumbs up or something all right that's amazing bro all right i think you you got another question as well so let me read that as well i don't believe that again man from youtube and leads me and school is, oh yeah so why do people join your community through youtube yeah you just give a cta because they like your content yeah, bro, exactly. They like they like your content and, and your message and they like the vision you have and they like what what you do, right? And then if your school community is kind of the same, then they automatically start to like your school community as well. And then you can just say like, oh, you can connect with like-minded people and network with them and things like that. All right, and then you say, but school guides also show those things, don't they? You can even attach a loom video in your school post. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you mean you can you can still. Yeah, you can you can definitely still make videos and things like that in your school community, one hundred percent. But here's the thing: like, all the creators or a lot of different creators are doing this, right? A lot of different creators, because they're not only following. If you get traffic from school, they're not only following you. But they're also following this creator and probably this creator as well and this creator and this creator like a lot of different creators right they're following a lot of different people i don't believe they're just getting members from youtube anymore and then getting members from school get less engagement yeah man so i hope that i hope that i kind of change your your mind a little bit about this and i still definitely 100 percent i've still seen a lot of engagement from people from for example, Donald's school, Donald's gang, or the school community as well. But just the most active members or the people who respond. For example, I don't know if you've seen Benjamin, but 
he was a guy he came from my youtube he and he just replies to so many people in the in the start here section it's fucking amazing man mm, gotta leave these all right let me see if i've got any questions over delivery ammo if you can show your free members how much value you provide then they will wonder how much value you can provide through a paid community yeah 100 percent, bro oh you were talking to your mom all right mm. Tobion said a good example of free good value is Long socials, you can download their whole strategy in a document. People who want to work with them don't have time to read it all or knowledge to do it. It's all there, but people want them. People want them to do it. Yeah, man. 100%, I don't, I've never heard of long socials before, to be honest. Like, can you tell me a little bit before, like what that is? Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know everything that they do, but I saw some ad 